I'm Ian Green, I'm the project manager for Community Youth Project. So we started back in 1999 when I was appointed as a youth worker here. The estate was really in a, a bad state uh, for repair. The houses were pretty much temporary basis and were neglected and run down. The area was a bit of a no-go area. It had a real bad reputation and part of that was because there was lots of young people hanging around with nothing to do. So what effectively we do is come in and provide some positive activities. Hi, my name's Jenny McIntyre. I'm a youth and community worker for the Community Youth Project and I'm based here at Greenham. And this is Melanie Kemp, who is one of my volunteers at one of our youth clubs. It originally, CYP started in Bishop's Green in 2002. It was then decided that we would do the project in Greenham because it was so successful in Bishop's Green. It was successful in reducing antisocial behaviour. It's also been very successful in pointing young people towards further education after school. So it's done very well in Bishop's Green and the reason that we've come to Greenham is to try and replicate that provision at Bishop's Green. I've been working here since, well, volunteer work since February, since the doors opened. Um, myself, I've got a lot out of it. My confidence and everything is real boosted. And the kids are absolutely brilliant around here. Really good, I've met a lot of new friends and I just enjoy being part of the work team that we've got up here. It's a really good team. Um, and like all the courses that we've been going on as well, it's really helped me out, no end with my CV, everything else. It's just really good. Greenham Common Trust have been quite different from other funders in that um, we don't have to keep reinventing ourselves. Every other funder expects after you've been going for a certain period of time that you've got to reinvent yourself and come up with a new idea. Whereas Greenham Common Trust have been able to recognise that there's been something successful here and have been able to continue funding it rather than having to stop and start and create a new project somewhere else. So Green and Contra has been very practical in their help. One of the things that they did here was when we established a youth council, they wanted to improve the facilities for football and we were able to bring in Green and Common Trust and they were instrumental in helping us to put together uh, costings for it and helping us to fund part of it and working in partnership with other organisations. I'm Carolyn Miller and I'm a volunteer for the youth project at Bishop's Green. And we do various things, craft activities, sometimes they go out and play outside. There's the Xbox, the PlayStation, and generally help the kids out. Well, it's not like a school environment. They can come here, they can relax, they can do what they, they choose what they want to do. They can hang out with who they want to hang out. So yeah, children do come and they do grow. I'm Craig Morley, part of the Community Youth Project. We do a range of trips from like motorwise to Open Hill. So like motorwise, we've got experience to learn to drive from, from the young age, and we like got a perspective of like the driving, we got taken on different courses to go with it, like to the fire brigade where we had two members of the project cut out of a car, so to get the experience of like a crash, to know all the bits to it. And we do Avon Till, which we go and stay away in the new forest for a week, and we stay in the log cabin. We do different um, activities from zip wire, climbing, um, banana boats, um, I'm Ryan Johnson and um, we had a youth council meeting at the beginning of the project when it first started opened and everybody basically um, put their hands up for me to be the chairman of the youth club. Well, what we do here is, um, well, when I first started I got told outside and but, but um, Jenny McIntyre, the youth club uh, manager, basically asked me to get people around my age to come and we all came, we all put ideas into it and then what I do is I play pool, DJ, the Xbox, a bit of table tennis. People are getting off the streets more and um, it keeps people out of trouble and I think people are enjoying it more, that like there's something to do like around night time because the parents obviously don't feel swept with their kids being on the streets and it's obviously safe and I think if they're in it, they know it's safe. Without a doubt, we'd like to thank Greenham Common Trust because without their financial backing, their in-kind backing, the support and advice that they give us, we'd be quite lost. And they've done that for the Community Youth Project, not just here in Greenham, but in Bishop's Green for the last 10 years. Their support financially has meant that I'm able to stay in my post. I can pro provide activities and bring this community together. So that is majorly important for me in my role to know that my job is safe and I'm not just going to be a one-hit wonder here. 
to say that, so we are eternally grateful for that. They've purchased a minibus on behalf of us in the Castle School, which we share with the Castle School, and that means that we're able to take the young people away from Greenham and encourage them to go further afield, uh, broaden their horizons, give them new experiences, let them experience things that possibly they're never likely to experience if we, we weren't going to take them to that experience. It's very difficult for charities to, to get funding and, and to search for funding and myself, I, I am not particularly experienced with the funding forms and applications so I found it quite difficult. However, I find that Green and Commons Trust applications forms are very easy to fill in. Um, the help is there if you need some advice. Um, which is fantastic because you don't always get that either with other places. But funding is a big issue and quite frankly if it wasn't for Green and Common Trust we probably wouldn't be here.